Nigeria Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative has unveiled their 2020 audit report. The chairman, National Stakeholders Working Group of NEITI, Olushegu Adekunle, disclosed this in Abuja, stating that the report provides useful insights into the current state and future fate of Nigeria's natural resources. He assures Nigerians of policy implementation that will maximize revenue generation. Pamela Ajiro has more. The Nigerian Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, NATI, made a public presentation of their 2020 audit report on oil and gas industry, solid minerals and fiscal allocations and statutory disbursement in Abuja and Mandi. We are the chairman of the fifth National Stakeholders Working Group, Olushegu Adekunle, stated that the NATI process has become very much part of a national economic management policy and strategy in its unique implementation. He assures Nigerians of native commitment in maximizing revenue generation. Stability was part of a larger economic reform agenda by the government of Nigeria. Since then, stakeholders in the EITI process in Nigeria have not invented in generating data, driving reforms and developing a culture of engagement that has injected transparency and accountability into the management of our resources. Between 2003 and now, Nigeria has produced and published 13 cycles of oil and gas industry reports, 11 cycles of solid minerals, and 3 cycles of fiscal allocation and statutory disbursement audit reports. As regards to fuel subsidy, the Executive Secretary of NATI, OG Obonaya OG, disclosed that 106.9 billion naira was paid as subsidy between January and June 2020 to sustain product availability with an outstanding balance of 26.74 billion yet to be paid. These are data from the respective agencies against these companies. And we make this point clear. NITI respects the companies who are doing business in Nigeria. Without the companies, there will be no industry. And without the companies, there will be no revenue. Without the companies, there will be no investment. All we are asking is the taxes and levies and we will need to the government. Please remit them to government as at our value, as done in other jurisdictions. And while lending your voices, Omar Ajia, Chief Financial Secretary NMPC, and Michael Uzoigwe, Country Manager AT Global, commended NATI for their good job. They stated their commitment and support, and also called for transparency and accountability of both private and government agencies. Yeah. Uh any reason to hide anything to any Nigerian, not to talk about bodies that have been established to scrutinize and follow the federation revenues from the oil and gas sector. We come to NMPC today to find people pushing papers from desk to desk. It's no longer happening. And all is geared towards ensuring the spirit of transparency and accountability to the Nigerian public. The uh, some ad hoc committees set up by the House of Representatives made requests of EITI data to help them to carry on with their own work, oversight work of, of the oil and gas sector. So these are the sort of uh, examples that we expect that EITI data will contribute to public debate and also contribute to reforms in Nigeria. So, according to the chairman of the National Stakeholders Working Group of NATI, the reports represent an opportunity for stakeholders to use their content to push the boundaries of reforms and to serve as a tool for accountability, national planning, and development. Pamela Ajero, Kaftan Television News, Abuja.